Rhode Island. We have a lot of fans out in in Rhode Island tuning in. Yeah. Just in front of Bob. So I can't let's see it just slide the rail, Ruben. I don't want to go in yet. So let's just slide along the rail, square up okay, on what it. What was so this step? Got it. We yeah, can hear Bob. Does Rich up. have a mic or no? See it buckled. Rich has a mic. That's probably He's from the just collision muted. with the bottom. Yeah, there's the. Here, so here's the beautiful corals. The corals are are taking advantage of the superstructure to get up into the flow of the of the water, and they're feeding. So these these guys are uh, uh, fight over this real estate because this is prime real estate if you're a coral for being able to filter feed. Uh, food out of the water going by, the current going by. All right, Ruben, did you want to slide to the right? This is where this is where the torpedo hit, yeah. and this is where the instant death of people occurred yeah. right here. April 13th, 1942, uh, Captain Eric Werderman put a single torpedo into the engine room. Right, which is right here. Yep, of the Gulf Pen. And 12 men immediately died, and the engines were stopped. Right. Uh, ten, disabled the ship immediately. Yeah, 24 men were able to get off into lifeboats and survive. And, and you know, the the, I, the tragic thing is that they were being escorted by uh, a U.S. Navy bomber. Right. And 10 minutes before the torpedo hit, the plane had flown around and done a circuit around this ship. Gave it a clean Gave it an all, health, exactly. Right. And then, bang. All right. Now, that, that, that particular U-boat, U-506, Captain Eric Werderman, he, he was an ace. Right, he right. came into the Gulf of Mexico, and he sank seven ships, of which right. six were tankers. Right. But that's, see, that's a, that, that's a broken hull. Yep. But it, that would probably be collision with seafloor, correct? Yeah. Oh. So while there was a loss of human life here, we can see that... We have recolonization oh, with me marine the life. In the bubble. Look at these guys. Look at all that life. They are so funny. They're, they, piranhas will position themselves so many feet from one another. You know, it's my volume of water. They don't get close to one another. Look how you could almost evenly space. They have their own volume of water. <laughs> I remember the first time I did this on the Titanic, my lights flashed back on me from the porthole. Jason okay. Jr., I came in and shined my lights on the portal and shined back at me. The binnacle should be up here. Yeah, yeah I'm looking. Or a helm. It'll be covered in coral, but it couldn't be a nicer place yeah. to camp out on. Right there. That's the problem with these shallow water wrecks. It's shallow is relative. Well, relative <laughs> to me, for me. <laughs> this is shallow. I like 12,000 foot wrecks. Okay, so this is about six times, no, four times deeper than I could dive at my best. <laughs> Look at that coral. Look at that beautiful. Hold that for just a second. Can I go in and focus and on it, And if you could focus it and maybe take it. It's a little hot, Mary. Is that a yes? It's just aesthetically a pretty shot. But, uh, yeah, and just you want me to stay there, hold it for or? a minute, and then we're going to discover what we're looking at. Okay. <laughs> okay, now slowly zoom back, and we'll discover the thread buddies. And then we'll discover it's the bow. Keep coming back till it reads bow. The lock. Okay, stop right there. He's panning there over. There it is. Yep. Keep coming down. Just gobble up that. Yeah, keep going down. Let it just play. You got an altitude of 12 meters. Probably slammed on the bottom. Keep going. Got 4.7 meters. Yeah, now we're getting the buckling of the impact. And you can see the now curve. if you could spin around to the right. No, she he turned off lights. This is driving in the fog okay. where your high yeah. beams don't do you any. Here's the twist. There's the broken yeah. bow. Yeah. Got a, it must have came down. Got a nose, nose, nose first. Or look, just the way it. Well, I it. think it. I think it did that. Oh, and that just buckled it like that. On impact, it it compressed it. Okay, slide past this. 
Slide to the right. <laughs> Furry fruit. So if you just tuned into Nautilus Live, let me fill you in on what we're diving on here. This is the Gulf Pen, so it was an oil tanker. Um, it was actually en route from Texas to Philadelphia, which was home port. And it was carrying oil. I was, was going to say, how did you last two weeks? It was a torpedo <laughs> fired from the German U-boat 506. Oh. So the torpedo went right into the engine and immediately <laughs> yeah, shut the engines or stopped the engines. And most likely from what we've there. looked at the wreck, the stern is about 600 feet away from the bow. And most likely the torpedo blew the stern portion away and it sank um, in that direction. Artisan marshmallows. <laughs> what will they think of next? They are good. The marshmallows are going around.